You are the, the founder and CEO of Global Gate, but in this case, we're going to talk to you talk to you about plastics as well because he's actually got a new film about plastics coming out. Tell me about it. Well, we have a, an organization called Plastic Oceans International that uh, has uh, a film that came out last year that was the top documentary on most of the social uh, networks and on the SVOD platforms around the world, and, and it was released in theaters and widely available on Netflix and iTunes called A Plastic Ocean. And that really highlighted the problem of plastic pollution in the oceans, in waters around the world. Um, it, it, it also had some solutions at the end. We're making a new film mm -hmm. that is really about uh, the solutions to the problem, to try to motivate people to have the heroes who are doing things to fight against the scourge of pa plastic pollution around the world. Over 8 million tons of plastic are dumped into the oceans, either knowingly or unknowingly, uh, every year. And that number is growing. More and more plastic factories are being built around the world, and so the problem will just get worse. Um, you know, the plastic affects the animals who eat uh, the plastic, thinking that it's food. Uh, other animals eat those animals. It eventually gets into the uh, food chain all the way up to humans who are eating the fish and other animals from uh, the ocean. So we're suffering, the animals are suffering, the animals are dying, uh, the ocean is polluted. It's all together a bad uh, problem. Now we're trying to find solutions. Talk to me about the solutions and tell me what people and corporates can yes. do. So corporations are now uh, putting into place uh, new rules. I know here at Davos uh, I met with the head of uh, the social action at uh, Coca-Cola who along with, as Susan mentioned, uh, Dow and uh, Procter & Gamble and other companies are trying to come up with alternative materials uh, that are biodegradable, that mm -hmm. are, are not going to harm us or the, or the uh, environment. Um, and there's a long way to go, but they are starting that initiative. Uh, many other companies are coming up with new items that you can use. I see here in Davos, a lot of people are using these non-plastic forks and, mm -hmm. and plates. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's one level. And then it's at the government level. And it's, it's federal government, it's state governments, mm -hmm. it's local governments, where you see their people um, fighting towards uh, banning plastics. I know in our own case, our, our, our eight-year-old uh, marched in uh, California to, to ban plastic straws, and, mm -hmm. they, and they passed uh, the new uh, regulation that went into effect this year in and I think in And I think in India, the, um, uh, where Mumbai is, the state where Mumbai is, is that they're trying to ban it by 2022, exactly. I think, plastics, and then the whole of India shortly thereafter. That's exactly right. So it's been an initiative for uh, the prime minister. Mm -hmm. And uh, so governments around the world uh, are banning plastics at, at different levels. Mm -hmm. And you'll, you'll see it in Africa and Latin America. Several countries now in Asia are also uh, finding that to be an important initiative that's, that's good in every way. And so it's at the government level, the corporate level. It's also at the local community level, at the family level, the personal level. Uh, we can all use, uh, you know, bottles that are not uh, plastic, you know, that are reusable and all kinds of uh, ways that every day we can make a difference by trying to re uh, resist mm. when people give you a plastic straw yep. or uh, anything at yep. a store that is wrapped in plastic. We do plastic. need a better solution, though, than the paper straw, which dissolves in your mouth. Yes. Not pleasant. Uh, there, you know, with the and the metal one that's so cold <laughs> that you can't drink the drink. We, Got to sort that out. We can put a man on the moon and come up with a plastic, <laughs> a non-plastic straw that doesn't melt in your mouth. But you know, I think that plastic is everywhere. It's 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 in the North Pole, the South Pole. I was up in uh, uh, you know Everest, Mount Everest. There's plastic all over the place. So uh, you know, and eventually, as was said by Susan, it you know flows down into the rivers. Is into the deepest part of the ocean. Yes, it's deep in the ocean. Seventy percent of the plastic goes in the ocean, sinks to the bottom and then it biodegrades into mm. microplastics that are filtering throughout the system the in, in, in food chain. microscopic levels. And then there's plastic that floats at the top and we're seeing the gyres that mm. have, uh, you know, big, though they say it's the, as large as the state uh, uh, of, uh, of the country of France, you know, this plastic gyre in the Pacific mm. Ocean. So, you know, it's, it's a massive problem. It's floating at the top. It's a gelatinous gel full of chemicals and, and the, uh, thing about plastic is that it attracts heavy metals. So mercury, lead, hmm. other deadly metals are attracted to the molecular structure of plastic and it's ingested. So it's not only the plastic, but it's the things that are, are, right. that are glommed onto the plastic that make it even worse to ingest. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by, William, yet again. And um, thank you to the Facebook folks. Thank you. Thank you very much for being with us here at Hub Culture. And I'm Edie Lush.